Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Next Gen Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement. So earlier, it was not possible via extension you can call the whole codes. Now, recently Oracle has introduced and supporting such a feature that if you would like to apply holds, you can apply the holds via using the extensions codes and those extensions codes you can customize based on your requirement. I'll walk you through with the demo as well as I'll walk you through with the setup part of it and you can test this and you can achieve your business requirement. So to continue, you have to clue to the order management and within the order management, you have to click on the order management. Once you click, you have to go to the create order. And once you click on the create order, you have to create your order. So I will create one order. So I have selected my customer detail. I will choose my order type. So I will choose my order type. So I have chosen my order type. Now I will enter one of the item code. So I am entering the item code. Now you can see that it got picked up. So price is working fine. Now after that, what I will do, I will go to the warehouse, click on the supply, and then I will enter SP001, my warehouse detail. I will go to the payment detail. So everything is fine, looks fine. Now what I will do, I will click on save to generate the order number. Once I click on the save, you can see that now hold get applied to the order to the line. And if I click on the hold codes, you can see that SP customer hold the whole name, the item, and then hold applied by and the hold date. You can use the hold comments as well. So based on your requirement, you can achieve that. And if you try to submit your order, it will be on hold status. So immediately, rather than manually apply the holds, you can, via using the order extensions, you can apply holds, you can release the holds too. And if you see that, so orders currently on hold status. How I achieve this requirement? What all prerequisites are required? I'll walk you through. So what you have to do, you have to go to the setup and maintenance. Once you go to the setup and maintenance, within the setup and maintenance, you have to go to the task and click on search. So first, we'll go to the manage business unit. So what I did basically, I have defined this extension by using the business unit ID as well as the order type code. So I'll show you the extensions. So if I search with the my business unit, so you can see that. So I have used this particular business unit ID. After that, what I have to do, I have to go back again, go to the setup and maintenance, go to the task, and we have to go to the task called manage a standard lookup. So once you search, so you have to type it Aura DO order types. So Aura 
DO order types. That is our lookup type name. Once you search, we have to search with the our order type code. So if you see, so I have used this lookup code to build our extension logic. Based on your business requirement, you can use meaning or if you want you know, the description or based on the item. So based on your business requirement, you can customize the order extensions. So I have used the SP underscore order as a code. Now I'll walk you through our extensions. So order extension. Let me type it order management extensions. So manage order management extensions. So if I go to the on save, you can see that auto hold at sales order line. And what you can do within the extension, either you can use this hold on start of submission request, on end of submission request, or on save. So based on your requirement, so currently I'm using on save. So this is what my extension name. And if you see that I'm using the business unit identifier and the transaction type code, and I'm using this hold at the line level, I have put it my business unit identifier, the ID, and I used my order type code. And what I used, I used the apply hold. So this is our code for the hold code. So if I copy, I'll show you. So to apply the hold, first of all, you have to define your hold code and that hold code must be exist. So I'll type manage hold. So if I type it, so the task name manage hold codes. If you see SP hold and I have using it for hold all services and in use. And now it's a common. And if you see that SP hold, so basically you have to use your code to drive. So anything, any kind of, you know, the whole code, you can use it and use the code. So you can populate so that it will apply the hold. And after that, if you would like to enter the hold code comments also, you can add the conditions and you can use the extension. So let me little bit zoom what I have returned. So you can go through with the code. So this is what I have written as a code. So let me, so if you see that this is what our code I have returned based on your business requirement, you can customize and you can achieve your business requirement. Currently, Oracle is not supporting auto hold where you can use either the pre-transformation or the post-transformation. You can use the manual hold codes or you can use now the order extension to achieve your business requirement. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Fusion Action Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching, happy learning.